District Attorney Ana de Santiago is currently assigned to the Collaborative Courts Division of the District Attorney's Office, where she oversees high-risk sex offenders on parole. She has been a prosecutor for almost 15 years now. Um, I was very fortunate to get a job as a prosecutor right after I passed the bar and telling my grandmother, and the one thing she said that, will, that always stuck with me was, be just. Whatever you do, be just. De Santiago was 12 years old when she immigrated to the United States from Mexico with her younger sister and her mom. Coming to this country as an immigrant, it, it was, we, we had to work really hard. But more importantly, my mom wanted to make sure that uh, her daughters had opportunities that were not available to us in Mexico. And she instilled in us not only wanting to pursue higher learning, but also giving back. Her mother was an attorney in Mexico, which is why the Santiago always considered law as a possible career. But it was the injustices she saw growing up, in particular among non-English speakers, that inspired her most to become a prosecutor. I saw a lot of people that had no voice. Um, so for me, public service, especially becoming a prosecutor, was a way not only to give back to the community as a whole, but also being able to um, give a voice to those um, victims of violence that uh, uh, sometimes are too afraid to come forward. In 2012, the Santiago was recognized for her work on several cases involving Spanish-speaking victims of rape. Being able to um, lend them a voice in court, um, to advocate for them, and to seek justice for what has happened to them, that has been a great privilege.